Welcome back to NBC 24 today. Well, where in the world is winter? It's going to be right here this morning. We have science of the season. We have chief scientist Carl Nelson with us this morning, morning from Imagination Station. We're talking frostology. Thanks for coming in and thank you for bringing this here. Absolutely. And you, okay, you've packed it up. What all do we have for those who have yet to make it out to Imagination Station? We're doing really some cool stuff at the Science Center and one of them involves polymers. Okay. Okay. And you would never think that polymers would be wrapped in with snow. No, you wouldn't. You know, we've highlighted polymers here before, yeah. but no, I, you wouldn't have so, any idea. So just check this out. Okay. A glass of water here, a tiny little bit of powder at the bottom. Okay? All right. And what I'm going to do is just pour the water right in there, and then I'm going to give this to you, okay, because um, what's going to happen is it's going to fill up, and then you're going to hold it. Up I don't know why I just jumped. <laughs> and I know, I know, we've, we've gone through this before. <laughs> So okay. this is the polymer. It's a super absorbent polymer yes. called sodium polyacrylate. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff that's in diapers, okay? And what's cool about this is you take this same compound and you slightly change the chemistry and you can do some really interesting stuff with it. Now, Being. This, this stuff starts out as those tiny little granules, right? I remember, yes. And as you add the water to it, it begins to swell and swell and swell. And this is not even to scale. If I was really to, I, and I couldn't find one big enough, it would be as big as you and I standing on top of one another. Would it really? That is the change in volume that happens with sodium polyacrylate when you add water to it. Okay. Now, I like to think of this stuff as like spaghetti. You, you make a plate of spaghetti and you leave it out overnight and all those long noodles stick to one another. That they do. That's what happens when a polymer is cross-linked. Okay. So a different polymer right here Again, tiny little powder in the bottom. Mm -hmm. We've got a full beaker. What we're going to do is both of us are going to pour our beakers in very, very quickly. Pour it from up high. Okay. We'll get lots of good mixing. All right. And something interesting should begin to happen. It's, it's okay to make a mess if you miss. It's your studio. Oh, now. <laughs> that it is, and I like messes. Now, what's happening here is all those little granules are beginning to absorb that water. I see that. But unlike the diaper polymer, which turns into a solid gel, mm -hmm. which is what you want in a diaper. Well, of course right? you want it to absorb it, yes. This is actually, <gasps> the, because it. of the cross-linking, mm -hmm. it is staying as individual granules. In fact, you can pick that up and you can pour this out. This is called instant snow. It's used on some movie sets because you can start with that tiny little powder, you can hydrate it, and you now get light, fluffy, artificial snow. And in fact, some um, indoor skateboards, uh -huh. uh, snowboard parks, uh -huh. use this stuff because no when this hits the floor, it gets really slippery, so we're gonna- Feel this. Do that. But yeah, feel it, How's, describe how it feels. Um, it's, it's soft, it's just, it really feels like snow. It feels like that light, fluffy snow. Now, this wouldn't be good for making snowballs. No, it but does not stick together very no. well for snowballs. However, um, as a holiday decoration, uh, this snowboarding- This is perfect. Parks, now, this is what we need to need to send out right now to the house that we're highlighting this morning That's for right. them to sprinkle around some of those displays. The beauty of that is you could spray out the dry powder, uh -huh. and then when it would rain, the snow would erupt from the ground. Okay. Be kind of a fun thing. How fun is this? And kids get to take part and make their own snow when they go there to they Imagination do. Station? We're making three-dimensional snowflakes. We're making instant snow. Kids can dig into it and play with it. In fact, if you do mix a little bit of this polymer uh -huh. with a little bit of this, with the right amount of water, you can kind of make it into a snowball. Can you? So if I were to take out some of this this morning? Yeah, yeah, just for trying. I mean, just out of curiosity. Let's, let's give, it, give it a try. Squish it in there. And pull it up. Uh, look at that. Just, um, okay, not the best snowball. No, no, don't but throw it. But. I, I can't. John, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> All right, well, thank you for this. And we still have much more to come here on NBC 24 today. Imagination Station will be sticking around for our 6.30 half hour, doing something extra special there as well. And education, it's important in any child's development. Coming up, we're also taking a look at ways that you can become more hands-on with your child's study. We're hearing back in from Partners in Education. Stick right here. We have more coming up on NBC 24 today.